Hey, it's Aurelius, hope you've been well. In this video, I'm going to guide you step-by-step -step how to create a fully responsive, mobile-friendly website, just like the one you're looking at right here that I created in just a few minutes using Canva. I wanna show you the exact website that I created in Canva so you can get an idea of what you'll be creating in this video tutorial. Okay, what you're looking at is the homepage of Aurelius Fitness. I just came up with this to give you an example. So the menu you'll see here, we've got our process, programs, about, and contact. So in the process, it shows the viewer what they need to go through in order to sign up. You've also got the programs. You could also name this as products and services. So you've got the full body workout, the core strength and legs. Going back to the menu, you also see an about page like this. You can create something like this if you want. And also there's a contact page that is fully functional and interactive. So they can actually use this form, click on contact and go through the steps in order to get in contact with you. At the bottom, there are social media buttons so they can go straight to your social profiles. So this is what you'll learn in this video tutorial. It's quick and easy to start and you really don't need any technical skills in order to create a website. But a little side note before we get started, there are some caveats, some disadvantages and also some advantages too by using this method. Let's talk about some disadvantages first. There are limited customization options in terms of creating your website. Example is creating your navigation bar. You can't really customize that navigation bar. It's created for you by default. If you're planning on doing any SEO, it's probably not the best option too. And one of the biggest downfalls is that you can't use your own domain name. You will need to stick with with their share link, which is this canva.com, really long link. However, there are ways around it so you can have a shorter link. Now the advantages of using Canva websites is that it's free, it's really fast to get your website up and running and you can utilize Canva's design tools. You know, you've got text, backgrounds, elements, anything you want, anything you can imagine, you can use your creativity to create your Canva website. Also, I will be showing you how to do it using the Canva desktop version, not the mobile version, even though we are creating a mobile friendly website. It's going to be so much easier creating it on your desktop. With that said, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure you have a Canva account. If you don't have one, look in the description box below where I've provided a link to a 30 day trial of Canva Pro. You don't necessarily need a Pro account. However, you will be given more options in terms of photos, elements, fonts, and much more. Once you've signed up, what we're going to do is to do a search for mobile website. You'll see the suggested one, which is the one you want. So click on mobile first website. Essentially what a mobile first website is, is what the name suggests. It's optimized for mobile devices. Right off the bat, you will see some templates. You can start off with any one of these. These are optimized for, you know, those types of link in bios. It's not really what we want, but scrolling down, you will see a template that's called healthy at home. This is the one that we'll be using to base our website. Hovering over any of these templates, you will see the number of pages. In this case, there are three pages. This means we can play around with three different layouts and it will be useful if you want to make each page look different. So I'm going to choose this template clicking once. I'm going to first rename this to my website name. I will call this Aurelius Fitness. The first thing you can change is the main background. So you can search in photos or you can very well upload your own photo. But I'll start searching here since this niche is around fitness, I will search something around fitness. The image that I originally used was this one right here. So I'll click once, that'll insert it. Now with the image inserted to set it as a background, you simply right click, then click on replace background. Set the positioning by double clicking and then you can move it. Okay, next up, because this photo is dark, what we're going to do is make sure the text is the opposite color. So it is going to be white. With this particular template, these different texts are actually grouped. So in order to ungroup it, you click on ungroup. That way you'll be able to move the text individually as you can see. Let's first change the title color, then choosing white. I won't be needing this other text, this pre-headline, I'll click it and delete. Below the title, there is a subtitle as well. I'll first change the color to white. In here, I'll put in fitness programs. And of course, for the main title or heading, I'm going to put get fit at home. I want it to fit on two lines instead of the three. So what you can try to do is expand the actual text layer here and we'll just position it so it's on the center. For the order button, you can say whatever you want it to say. And let's say you want it to say shop now, you can do that. And then you can link that up to your actual products or services page. Now I'm going to select the text and the button, move it up so we can make room for a couple of benefits. 
What I'll do to save time is to simply duplicate the fitness program's text, so I don't need to add that again. A simple way is to hold the Option key on the Mac keyboard or the Alt key on your Windows keyboard. And using your mouse, you'll just drag and that'll make a duplicate copy. The first benefit that I wanna put is no equipment needed. The second will be workout anywhere. And the third benefit, train at your own pace. We'll now align this by selecting it and then we'll go to the alignment, making sure that it's aligned to the left. And now I'll just crop this text box so it only takes up what it needs and then we'll just position it somewhere around here because what I'll do next is add a couple of uh, check marks. Head over to elements and search for check mark. Do note there are some free and also some pro elements. The pro elements are indicated with the crown and pro tab like you see right here. Let's keep things simple and use this one right here. It is hard to see, so what we'll do is change the color to white. Resize it down so that it's about the same size as the text. Don't worry about positioning yet, we'll fix that up. But let's now make another copy. Again, holding the option key, then dragging. You can also click the duplicate button if you want to. I'll make another copy since there are three bullets. Spread it out. For the text, you will add some line spacing. So selecting everything, then going to spacing. Then with the line spacing, you wanna increase it so it takes up enough space. Somewhere around there looks good. And now we can position the actual check marks. We can reposition everything by selecting it and then we can position it somewhere around here. Let's move the title a bit higher, the fitness program subtitle here and the shop now button a bit to the top. And that's the main homepage pretty much done. Let's move on to create another page and this one will be called our process. To save time, we can use one of the existing templates that this actual template provides. So this is the one called uh, join our online classes. We'll make use of this. I'll arrange this somewhere right here. So it's page number two. If you don't see a list of your pages, make sure that show pages is enabled. So clicking show pages, you'll see all your pages. Let's call this our process. So we'll go ahead and type in our process. I won't be using the join our online section right here. So I'll delete that and move the our process up. Just like with the first page where we change the background, you want to repeat those steps. So going to photos, search whatever it is that you want, then selecting the photo. So I'll select this one right here and let's replace the background. Now I'll just double click and arrange it. So I've got a bit of that bottle and that smartwatch. I'll change the title color as well to white so it stands out more. And next you simply lay out the sign up process for your product, services or program. For the first step, I'll put in sign up for a free account. For your products and services, this could be shop our products or browse our products. For number two, we'll go select a program. And the third step in this process will be follow to start getting results. So this kind of our process page shows your viewers or your potential customers how they go about and buy your products, sign up to your program, or basically how your website works. Now with the our process page done, let's create a, another page, a new page, that'll be for our products and services. To shortcut the steps, all I'm going to do now is to make a duplicate copy of the process page. To do that, simply right click the page that you wanna duplicate and then we'll click on duplicate. Now it's made a copy as you can see. Let's go ahead and type in programs or this could be products or services for you. It is rather large, so we'll either increase or resize the text box as you can see and now it fits. Or if it doesn't have much spacing, then what we can do is decrease the actual font size. So we'll decrease it just a bit and let's position it somewhere in the center there. This is where you can go ahead and list all the products that you wanna sell. Because I am focusing on fitness programs, what I'm going to do is name the actual fitness programs. So the first one will be full body X. I'm going to delete the numbers, including the actual circle. Clicking on the text again, and let's increase it and see how large we want it. So somewhere around there looks pretty good. And I'll just move it to the center. Let's put a bit of a description. So what I'm going to do is just use one of these ones again and make a duplicate copy. And what I've typed out is a 12 week full body workout program. We'll just center this, selecting it, and then making sure the alignment's centered like so. Let's rearrange it so that we've got more space somewhere like there. All right, so all we need to do now is just to list the rest of our programs, products, or services. All right, once you've added your programs, kind of like what I've done, it's just a matter of linking those buttons or the text to your actual checkout 
you know, pages. There is a platform that you can use to start selling your products and services, and that's called Payhip. This is the backend of Payhip. What you can easily do is click on add new product, select whether this is a digital, physical, subscription billing, or coaching service. Let's say you've got a digital product. Go ahead and add all the details, upload your actual product file. This could be a PDF document, you know, it could be a template, it could be a zip file. Simply upload it here, enter a title. I've added a couple of details here, so I uploaded some random image and entered a title, price, you can also upload a cover photo and add a description for your actual product or service. Once you're done, click on add product. And what Payhip will give you is this unique product page link. So you simply copy that. But before we move ahead, this is what it's going to look like. Show me my product page. Click on that button, we'll show you what the actual page will look like. And from here, all they need to do is to add to cart. Of course, you do need to integrate your PayPal or Stripe account so that you can actually get paid. But once you have that product page link, all you need to do is go back to your products page and then we can use, let's say the title as the link. We select it, clicking on the link button, and now we paste in that Payhip product page. So now when someone actually clicks it, it'll go to your product page. That's the way to go about selling a product from your Canva website. If you do want more step-by-step -step instructions in terms of using Payhip, I do have another tutorial, quite comprehensive. I'll link it up in the description box below. Repeat the same steps for the rest of your products and services. And once you're done, let's move on to the next page that we're working on. With this one, quite simple. Again, add a background. I'm going to select this one here, right clicking, clicking on replace background. I'll keep the text layer as is since that's quite good already and changing the color, that's all it is. Same thing for the about us and for the actual body of the page, we'll change it. This is where you go ahead and start writing about your business, your company. At the bottom, you will see this logo. What I'll do is delete it since I don't need it. If the text doesn't stand out against your actual background, what you can do, here's a little trick, is to add a rectangle. So by clicking R on your keyboard, that'll insert, and it's actually a shortcut for adding a rectangle shape. And now we can range it and size it. I'll change it back to black, so we'll change the color to black. And now we'll add some transparency so you can actually see some of that image behind. Adjust it the way you like. As you can see, the less I have, the more of that background image will show. So somewhere around 50% I found to be the best. And that's the about page all done. Now let's go ahead and create a contact form with a fully interactive form that someone can fill and submit so that you can receive it and respond to it. To save time, again, duplicate any of your pages depending how you want it to be laid out. I'll just select the about us page make a duplicate. I'll delete this right here and enter contact here, put it somewhere at the top. Let's change the background so that it's a little different. I'll type in home workout this time. Let's select this one right here. And now I'll just replace the background. We won't be needing the text here. With this next step, what you're going to do is use a third party tool and that's called Typeform. So simply go to typeform.com. I'll link up Typeform in the description box below. Once you're in, go to your workspace and create a Typeform. So click on the plus, click on start from scratch, give your form a name. I'll just call this Aurelius Fitness. This could be your business name, your website name. Where it says, what are you creating? Look for contact form, click on continue. We're gonna create a set of pages so it works in a logical form. Click on the plus where it says content and what you're going to wanna look for is a welcome screen. This is optional, but it's a good page where you can welcome them and tell them what this form's about. In here, I've entered, we're here to help, click the contact button below. Because I've said click the contact button below, what I'll do is to make sure that instead of start, I'll enter contact. And while we're here, click on design, and this is where you can go ahead and select a theme. Changing to a different theme, such as the plain blue, will adjust the actual colors, but I'll select the plain dark one since it goes with the actual branding of the Canva website, as you can see. Okay, creating the next step on your form, go back to content. And now this time let's create a field for first name or let's put in full name. So at the top here, let's put in your full name. Go back to question and make sure that required is enabled since we want to know their full name and they can't pass unless they actually fill this in. Create another question, click on the plus. This time add an email and we'll enter your email. 
make sure that it's also required so we can actually get in contact with them. Now, when we created our form from scratch, this actual template appeared. You can actually use this and this could be something like, uh, which department would you like to contact? First, I'll delete this image or you can simply replace it, but I don't like this, so we'll remove it. For the question, what I'm going to do is say, what do you need help with? Choice one could be something like billing. Choice number two could be technical issue. Number three could be, or C could be pre-sales question. And one could be other. Is this a required field? It's up to you, but the more information you can get, the better. So we'll click on required. However, I will rearrange this. So in order to rearrange it, you simply drag that particular question and drop it where you want. Let's add one more and that is the actual message. So we'll click on plus. This time we'll select long text and I'll say something like, how can we help you? We'll make this a required field again and make sure that it is the last question. So I'll drag it all the way down to the bottom. So going back to the top, we've created the welcome page, the department section, the full name, email, and the how can we help you question. The next thing you wanna customize is the ending. So what happens after they submit? You can say something like, thank you, we've received your query and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. A couple of other options you may wanna consider using, social share buttons and customizing the button. So you can say reload, but in this case, I will put in exit. Once you're done with that, because we are done with our design, we don't need to do anything else. Here's the logic. This is how it's going to work to give you a bird's eye view. Once you are done, click on publish and then you're given this link. So what you're going to want to do is copy that link, go back to your contact page. And what you're going to do is click on more and you're going to want to search for embeds. Okay. Click embeds once. That'll appear right here where it says embeds here. So Canva allows you to embed links as long as they're embeddable. So what we're going to do is right click, paste in that link that we just copied from Typeform. Once you've done that, click on add to design. It will size it pretty small. So what you're going to want to do is expand it. Let it take up all the space from left to right, as you can see. Now, really, we could have gone away without using a background. So we can reverse what we've done and just go back to the background, delete, what we had before, which is that transparent uh, rectangle and then the actual background, deleting that. Now we just change the color of contact to black. That way it's a lot cleaner. You can see now it actually blends in with the actual background. I'll just move it up somewhere around there to make room for our social buttons. Let's now add some social buttons in case they wanna connect with us on social media. Go to elements and what I'm going to search first for is Instagram, selecting the first icon there. Don't worry about resizing just yet because we'll do that later. Let's search also for Facebook. Try to get the same style. As you can see, it's uh, similar. Canva will recommend some other icons based on what we've already added. And that's under magic recommendation. So I'll add Twitter as well. That's all I'm going to add. So what I'm going to do is just move the social buttons down below, move it down a bit and let's resize it all together. So it's about that size. And let's move Facebook somewhere here, Instagram, right here. And now what I'm going to do is select all three again, go to position, then let's do some cleaning up. So we'll do a space evenly, horizontally, and also vertically. Or you could also do a tidy up and that'll do everything. I'll just move it a bit somewhere here manually. So it's in the center. In order to link your buttons to the actual social handles, you click that icon, clicking on link, and then enter your Instagram handle or more so the Instagram URL. Mine will be this, instagram.com forward slash royalistigen. Okay, let's review exactly what we've created. We've created a homepage like this, a process page, a programs, products or services page, which you could very well link to a third party platform or tool in order to sell your actual products and services an about page and a contact page like this. As a side note, make sure your website has all the legal pages, the terms and conditions, disclaimer, earnings, things like that. Whatever it is that is relevant to your industry or niche, you wanna make sure you have it on your website, but do seek legal advice for that. With all the pages done, the next step is to make sure you name each of those pages so that will reflect on the actual navigation bar. Let's start from the beginning, the first page. If you click on notes, you'll see this on the corner. You'll see page one, you add a page title. This will be called home. The next one will be called our process or process, let's shorten it. The next one will be programs. The fourth one will be about. And the final page will be contact. Once that's done, you're ready to publish your website. To publish your website, click on publish as website. It's going to give you a few options in terms of web style. You can have presentation form, 
scrolling form, classic navigation, or a standard navigation bar. I like to use classic navigation. And now you're ready to open your website. Click on open website. Now, of course, because I'm viewing this on desktop and in full view, this is what it actually looks like on desktop view. It's not too bad, it's functional. I mean, everyone can read what it is. You've got the navigation bar, but resizing it down, this is what mobile users will actually see. You'll have this hamburger menu. So if we click it, then your actual menu appears. We've got the home process programs about and contact. If we click on process, that should go to the process page. If we click on programs, that'll go to our programs page about to the about page and the contact form. This is what you can go ahead and actually test. Let's click on contact. What do you need help with? We've got, let's say a billing issue. What's your full name? I've entered my name, click on okay. Enter your email and how can we help you? Once someone's done with the contact form, all they need to do is click on submit. And there you've got the ending page, which is thank you. We've received your query and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. To check your responses, go to your type form account go to results, then you'll see all the details of that query. At the bottom, you've got the social buttons. Some additional things that you may wanna consider doing is, let's say with this shop now button, you can actually link that to your products page. Go back to your Canva website, click on the text, go to link, and what you'll find are the actual pages. And this is a quick and fast way to link to anywhere on your page. We'll select programs since that makes sense for this particular website. And once you've added it, you'll see it is now linked. If we go back to our page, let's give it a refresh. And now you see the link indicated with the actual underline. So if I click that, that'll take me to the programs or products page. Now, if you remember at the beginning, I mentioned one of the disadvantages and that is you can't use your own URL. There is actually a way around it, but it's actually just to mask what the actual URL is. But if you do wanna know how to do it, what you're going to wanna do is to register your domain name first. I recommend using Namecheap, search whatever domain you want, register it. Once you've registered, go to the back end of your Namecheap account, go to domain list. Next to your domain, click on manage. Under the domain tab, you'll see redirect domain. This is where we can redirect the actual Canva share website URL and clicking on add redirect. Make sure you add two of your source URLs. So one without the www and one with the www going to the exact same destination. To get the URL of your Canva website, you wanna make sure you publish as website, as normal. And at the top, you'll see in the address bar, the URL. Of course, you don't wanna share this on social media. It's quite long, quite ugly. So what we can do again is use this method. So we'll copy. You wanna go ahead and add your domain name. So Fitness X, so I made this up, right? And then we'll add that and then click on the check mark. So because I've already added it, I don't need to add it again. You repeat it for the one with the www. You can also do it from the advanced DNS where it says add new record, just add a new record and go down to the bottom where it says URL redirect. And for the host, you wanna do it at and also www. So two different entries. Do the same thing and make sure it is unmasked. I did try masked version, but it doesn't quite work. It would have been better to use a masked URL because it will actually hide what the original URL is at the address bar. But this is a way around it for now. To test out and make sure it works, you wait a couple of minutes and then enter your domain name and then press enter and you can see it goes to the actual Canva URL. The second way to do this and to shorten links is to simply use a link shortening service such as Bitly. Enter that Canva website URL in the URL field, click on shorten and now it's shortened the link. This is the link that you wanna provide on social media or whoever wants to see your website. So in just a few steps, you've created a fully functional mobile friendly website that you can now use to sell your products, services, or program. I hope this video helped. And if you wanna see more tutorials just like this, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and looking forward to sharing the next training with you.